my god! I'm back, people! <coughs> Woo! Did you miss me? Ha <laughs> ha! I bet not you did. I bet not you did. But yes, I am back. And this time, we're not gonna go for rejection. And we're gonna look at toxic relationships. Yes. And what? Why does? Why do relationships have to be toxic nowadays? Seriously. Can we come on? Just, <laughs> so uncalled for. I mean, look. I'm in a happy, positive, committed relationship now. That's probably what. That's where I was anyway. For those of you who wanted to know that I have not, uh, I didn't post over um, 2023, it's because I am now in a committed relationship. So yeah, so let us have a look at these toxic relationships and scale them from 1 to 10. Maybe. But also it's just, we're gonna <laughs> the absolute banger out of them. Okay, so let's get started. Hey babe, where you at? I'm out with some friends. Well, wow, well, have fun. Thanks so much for just not nah, letting me know. Try not to cheat on me. Night. Question mark, question mark, question mark. I said night. Ooh. Can you smell the toxic? Ooh. Oh come on, a good relationship that doesn't say night and just crash a Really? Where's your manners? You're gonna say night back and also try not to cheat on me. Wow. You can really see the loyalty in this relationship. Alright, the next one. This is ridiculous. You need to get out of this relationship. I know, I know. My sister says I'm being too picky. It's always a blast when family members get involved. <laughs> Relatable! Okay. Uh, you have standards, don't settle for less. Why, why does long distance have to be so hard? I hate feeling so alone like this. I'm pretty sure you'd have to be aware of long distance. Then why would you commit to a long distance relationship and then have this doubt? Uh -uh. Seriously deserves so much better th there's got ought to be something better out there for you. The most sensible response you could ever say. But fair play for the responder for like highlighting that, but say to say that you're so much better though. I mean I wouldn't say that. Cause that's like really like lowering yourself down to like hiring up uh, someone else's when you both have the potential but one of you just thinks you're not worth it which is right on why you're in a long distance relationship <laughs> oh lord above <laughs> oh god we get to the long long ass paragraph ones now. Here is my story. I dated my ex when I felt it's high time I have a man in my life. Things were going on smoothly because I got what I desired. He is the playful type and wasn't and wasn't sex free. Eat with me. I was loving him so badly and the lady started dragging him him with me through calls, messages. Things got so bad when he introduced me to his parents. Well, yeah, there's always there's always a tough time when you see the parents, and his dad lo and his dad and his dad loved him, him and treated me like his daughter. Hmm. He started na acting, knacking, like tomorrow. Just knacking. What does that even mean? Okay, so it's literally just 
looked up knacking in Google and it literally says it's an act of grinding the opposite sex for more for utmost pleasure and excitement. Oh God, my life. Uh, no day. He will message and call. Uh, cause Lee. It is in my presence because he believes I won't leave the relationship. I was emotionally abused, but I couldn't leave because I, because I couldn't withstand being mocked. So those ladies, he was knacking. Addition to this one, um, it is a difficult one, especially when a part, when a partner is under has undergone emotional abuse well any abuse like sexual abuse or physical abuse and yes i am speaking in these terms because mm, my partner has actually gone through the, this and i have helped her and i've helped my partner through this and all that so yeah i can actually be the voice of reason and say i have a get out of this one because you know what? If he's literally just calling and texting girls and not eat in your presence, he obviously doesn't have any respect. And he's not being very subtle with his uh, cheating. But yeah, um, get someone else, you know, that can like help you and support you and love you as much. Because obviously, this guy is. This guy. Th th this guy is. If he keeps knacking! But I don't enjoy Shrek. No! No! I can't believe this. <laughs> I can't believe it either. It's just not very enjoyable. There are so, there are much better films. Okay, true. Please tell me you've watched Pulp Fiction. Jazz, yes, Pulp Fiction is a really good film. But come on, how can you not like Shrek? <laughs> I'm a doggy y'all. Oh god, this is something that's gonna get me to roast this this one real bad. Oh come on, when are we going to have sex? I've told you I wanna wait at least a year before we ha have sex. Like, can you please stop asking me that? That is not the way to say it. When are we gonna have sex? No, like. Don't say it like you're a flipping, like you're a desperate bloody addict, I swear to god. It should be taking time, you should build up to it. And plus it should be a bonus in your relationship. Come on, I've helped you do a lot with your problems, I just want you to help me with my only problem. We've been dating for a month, most couples already, ha uh, already have had sex by then, just seems a little unfair to me. Just because you've been going out for someone for just a month and because everyone else is getting pleasure and they've been like going out and, like even earlier than than you have really people people go at the different paces come on like hundred bu bucks in gas money is not, not a whole lot of help of my health sure it was a nice thing to do but I don't want to give up my virginity Remove sexual abuse away from the situation. <laughs> okay. But babe, I never uh, asked for anything else in this relationship. I've done everything you ha have asked me of, of me without question. And you can't do this one thing for me. Giving up my virginity is a big thing, thing to me. And I just want to wait a little while longer. Time to get the mic out. And yes, this person has a sensible head on her shoulders because yes, first time sex is a big thing because it can either make or break your relationship. And if this guy cannot respect that, well he can get lost! I've been a re real good guy to you and I think I deserve this. I'll think about letting you have it in 11 more months, okay? I don't 
think there will be a world in 11 more months with all the politics going down. I don't know, before the world ends, I figured you might change your mind because this guy literally shows it physically that he will, that he will, willing to wait. But if he doesn't, then get lost, son, and let her find somebody else who will, who will let her wait. Because this is a big thing. Didn't you get that? I hope you really enjoyed with this video um, if you have any uh, stories that you would like to share air uh, of a relationship or maybe family pro uh, problems and all that that you would like like um, in this series for me to discuss and and help you out maybe give you advice and all that and just and maybe just for a bar of laughs really we'll just you know we'll just have a really good time Maybe I will be the next Jerry Springer, or if you're in the UK, I could be the next Jeremy Kyle. Because we all know he ain't coming back. <laughs> but yeah, but thank you so much for watching. If you do have any, um, you know, any stories out, please drop them in the comments, and we will literally go through all them, and we will make this a series. If you really, if you really want that. Make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe, and click that bell notification button and for more. Thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I will see you later. Bye! No light on the other side, I say.